This is Fantasy Baseball Today from CBSSports.com. All right, it's time for an exclusive presentation of Fantasy Baseball Today for CBS Local Sports. I am Adam Azer, that's Scott White, and that's Al Melchior. And every day, Monday through Friday at noon Eastern time, we are live on FantasyNews.CBSSports.com with Fantasy Baseball Today. But right now, we give you the cliff notes, help you out in Week 12, pitchers and hitters to start and sit. We begin, Al, with Jake Odorizzi, who has two home starts, and you're saying, put him in your lineup, start him. I am, because those two starts are at home. Tropicana Field, terrific pitcher's park. Odorizzi is a fly ball pitcher, really needs that help, and it shows in the discrepancy between his home ERA and his road ERA. So even though uh, these are not necessarily the greatest matchups, they're good enough with uh, the home starts for Odorizzi to be in your starting rotation this week. Christian Yelich, Scott, is a start. I don't know what's happened to his starting percentage because we were at a point where it seemed like everybody was on board. This guy's must start. He, he has dropped off a little in recent weeks, but still look at the weekly point-by-point -point breakdown. 12 this week, 17 last week, 17 the week before, 16 the week before. Consistent production still on a, on a 15 homer, 25 steal pace, if that matters more to you because you play in a roto league. Batting average is back up to 260 now. That, that's fine. I, I, I just think everybody needs to get him back in their lineup and probably shouldn't have sat him in the first place. Tanner Roark has two starts, and it's Houston and Atlanta at home, and Atlanta, one of the worst lineups in baseball, so start Tanner Roark. Yeah, um, that Braves start doesn't really hurt Roark. Certainly that could help him, but I just like the fact that he's got two starts as long as it's not two tremendously difficult matchups. Uh, I think Roark is somebody that you should be using with two starts. He's got superb control. He's going to give you a low whip. Uh, when you double up the starts, you're going to get a strikeout total that's going to compete, if not be better, than some of the one-start options that you might also be interested in using. And uh, good ERA, too. Uh, so uh, definitely uh, almost a must-start week for Tanner Roark. Scott, tell us why Aramis Ramirez should be started. Well, he's back, for one thing. He's off the DL. That he, helps. He, he just homered Thursday, so it looks like he's, he's starting to pick things up. But more than anything, the Brewers have just terrific matchups this week. They're, they're at Arizona for uh, looks like four games. Arizona, their favorable park uh, against their poor pitching staff. And then he's at Colorado for the last three games, the most favorable park anywhere, and a pretty bad pitching rotation, uh, pitching staff there too. So I, I think he's going to, uh, I think this, is, this recent stretch is going to catapult him into great things that have us seeing him as a must start here pretty soon. Okay, big week for Aramis Ramirez. Yep. Not so much though for Kyle Loesch who's been really good, but, you know, one of his two starts this week, Al's at Colorado, the other's at Arizona. Is it the Colorado start that's making you sit in? It is. That, that is the entire story here because Kyle Loesch has been very good. This is a case where more is less because a one-start Loesch would be somebody I would want to start this week. But with that start at Colorado where we've seen very good pitchers like uh, Julio Tehran and Mike Miner recently blow up, uh, Loesch, I think, is even uh, riskier than, than those two pitch up pitchers at Coors Field against the Rockies lineup. So you need to sit Loesch this week. Just over a third of opposing starting pitchers this year have given up six earned runs or more at Coors Field. That's not even counting the guys who have given up five earned runs or, <laughs> or four in four innings. You know, it's really bad. Pablo Sandoval, sit him. You sit him. He's maybe somebody you could consider sitting for Ramirez because you've been starting him recently. He's had a nice stretch here. But only five games scheduled for the Giants this week. I believe they're the only team. Yeah, they're the only team with five games. Three of them are against left-handed pitchers. Sandoval batting under 200 against lefties. That's it. Got to sit him. Yeah, well, sitting Justin Verlander in a two-start week would have sounded absolutely crazy uh, basically throughout his entire career. But right now with the way he's been struggling, Al's being cautious with Justin Verlander. Very cautious because it's just been so many starts in a row where he's been ineffective. Uh, earlier in the year, at least you were getting a good ERA, but really the whole season, Verlander hasn't been uh, giving strikeouts in the way that the owners are accustomed to, and the control has not been typical for him either, and not in a good way. So it's at the point where if uh, you're in a standard or shallow mixed league, there's really no reason to start Verlander other than the fact that his name is Justin Verlander and you associate that name <laughs> with performance that's a lot better than what he's given you. Scott, I don't want to have to sit Corey Dickerson. I like Corey Dickerson. He's been so good. I do, too. This is kind of a controversial pick, but that's what we're here for. <laughs> Make the tough calls. Like the Brewers have the best matchup this upcoming week, the Rockies have the worst matchups, and it's mostly just the first half of the week at Dodger Stadium where they're going against Clayton Kershaw, Hyunjin Ryu, 
Zach Greinke. Two of those three pitchers throw left-handed, obviously. Dickerson, there's a chance he might sit one or both of those games and, and then tough matchups for the others. So half the week might be just completely off the table for him. And as good as he is, I don't trust him to uh, put up starting caliber numbers in a three-game stretch at Coors Field to end the week. All right, Al Melchior writes our pitching column. You can check it out on the website. Scott does the same with the hitting column. Make sure you read it there. We've got an app you should download. It's free and it's awesome. You can check your fantasy scores and adjust your lineups in there. And listen to our podcast as well. Live at noon Eastern, Monday through Friday, Fantasy Baseball Today. This has been an exclusive presentation of Fantasy Baseball Today for CBS Local Sports, for Al Melchior and Scott White. I'm Adam Azer. Good luck in Week 12, and have a good weekend.